There are 300 pubs up and down the UK where swearing, riding a motorbike, or using your phone whilst at the bar will get you thrown out. Welcome to the world of Samuel Smith Breweries. The Samuel Smith Brewery was established in 1758, making it Yorkshire's oldest functioning brewery, and is also one of the foremost institutions for teaching the world how to be a grade one cunt to people who work for you and frequent your establishment. The brewery, based in Tadcaster, is currently jointly operated by Humphrey and Oliver Smith. However, it's the latter's impersonation of a walking empathy void we'll be focusing on today. The GMB, a general trade union in the UK, has gone on record condemning the brewery's treatment of landlords and pub managers across their 300 strong estate. One such example, on New Year's Eve of 2011, the tosser of Tadcaster, Humphrey Smith, walked into the Junction Inn in Oldham and ordered the land couple, Debbie and Pete Gibson, to close the pub immediately following their summary suspension on pay by the brewery. Now you're probably wondering, what was it the two of them did to warrant being suspended on the spot by the brewery owner? You'd imagine something like serving children or holding a cocaine fueled orgy in the pool room. None of that. The real reason Humphrey Smith ordered them to close at 8pm on one of the busiest nights of the year is because he walked in and decided the couple were overfilling pints. I should quickly establish the couple weren't serving anything more than exactly a pint, but Humpty Dumpty Humphrey didn't like that they weren't serving beer with large enough heads. To compound matters, he then ordered the two to pay a £10,733 surcharge for lost stock over a 12-year period. Skip ahead to January 2016, and following the destruction of a 300-year-old bridge, Humphrey Smith blocked the construction of a temporary bridge on the town of Tadcaster, which had been split in half following the original bridge's destruction. Appeals were made by locals, MPs, and even the Prime Minister to Stumpy Humphrey, but he refused, claiming the £300,000 cost of the bridge was a waste of public money. A year later, he began a carpet ban on people he considered to be undesirables, including motorcyclists. His prejudiced attitude being passed off as part of the business's uncompromisingly Victorian aesthetic. Yeah, pull the other one, mate. Most famously in recent years, Smith decided to ban swearing in his pubs. Legendarily going so far as to shut one of the pubs down for three nights following hearing the utterance of profanity in the Arlington Hotel. He allegedly even fired two managers on the spot for allowing a customer to continue swearing conversationally. The pubs are a tribute to a forgotten time, refusing to advertise the brewery on their signage and deliberately only stocking products made by the brewery, including their own crisps. No music or televisions are seen in the pubs and the use of mobile phones whilst ordering at the bar is also banned. The brewery only make a single cask ale called Old Brewery Bitter and even deliver their beers using the last working dray horses in the country. Almost by satirical contrast to the abusive, miserly ways of the man behind their creation, the brewery's beers are noted as being some of the finest examples of their respective styles, with the bottle I have here, the Imperial Stout, being near universally lauded. Now, this can't be an episode of John Drinks if I don't even drink anything, so without further ado, where the fuck is my bar blade? Right, this is where we go off script a bit. I've got to say, Samuel Smith beers, um, what I've tried of them so far, and I have tried one in the past, uh, it was an apricot fruit beer, and I bloody loved it. This distinctive type of beer was originally brewed to withstand the abuses of shipping in foul weather to Imperial Russia. It was a favourite of Russian nobility, that explains a few things, whose taste for fine food and drink were world famous. A rich, flavourful brew, deep chocolate in colour, with a roasted barley nose and flavour that has a complexity of malts, hops, alcohol, and yeast. You're probably going to ask, so yes, I did deliberately pick a glass that I am almost certain Old Humphrey would definitely not approve of. Maybe I should get a job at one of his pubs, I'm sure he'd love me. Although actually, you can't be a manager in one of his pubs unless you're shagging someone. True story, uh, the only higher management couples. I'd imagine in a few years time if I rocked up and went, hello, I'm here to manage one of your pubs and this is my husband, I'm sure that would just go down fucking swimmingly with such a pleasant man as Humphrey. Beautiful dark colour, there's a little bit of carbonation, you can see some bubbles rising up to the top there. Good thick tan head, let's get the aroma. Ooh, chocolate, roast coffee, it's Kind of more of a dark chocolate than a milk chocolate. Slightly tannic, a little bit of a fruity quality to it. Leather satchel whack off of that. I don't know, maybe I'm just being weird now. Brown bread, sweet porridge. That's that's what we're getting off of that. I'm looking forward to this, I'm not going to lie, because I have been told, again, near universally, that this one's stunning. So, I do like a dark beer as a general rule as well. 
licorice, bittersweet chocolate, almost a rich tannic red wine quality on that as well. It's got a smooth, rich mouthfeel. Oh, that's fantastic. That is genuinely excellent. And there's sort of a roasted oak quality to that as well. It's just everything you want in a stout. That is genuinely fantastic. You know, it's, it's one of those gimmicks where <clears throat> you kind of want to hate the product of a person that you don't like, but it's just, it's hard. You know, it's hard when they just knock out something this brilliant. Damn you. You awful, awful person. Damn you to the pits of hell itself. This is fucking glorious. I love it. Comment down below if you've tried any of his beers before. What do you think about his um, interesting approach to employee relations? Anything else that you want me to try? You've probably noticed actually there's a couple more Sam Smiths in the background, so we will be cracking those open in due course. Damn, this is good. Ugh. Maybe being evil is the way forward.